Just a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down in the most delightful way. What's poppin' everybody? It's your Disney Mama here and I have not one but two Mary Poppins themed DIYs for you. I cannot wait to get started to show you these. Um, with the new movie coming out in December, I am so excited. Um, I loved this movie as a child, and Julie Andrews is my home girl. So I'm a little nervous about the new movie coming out in December, but that's okay. I'm still gonna go watch it. I'm still gonna support it. I'm still gonna love it, I'm sure. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna make for you today is Mary Poppins' hat. And this is so easy. Um, let me pull out a sample for you. How cute. Mary Poppins knows how to be fashionable. Okay, so, of course, glue gun, because I'm about no so here, so. And top hat. And the reason I'm using a top hat, it's actually made out of foam. I picked this up at Michael's, and um, you cannot find, Mary Poppins is that flat shaped hat, and you cannot find that hat. You will not find that shape. Um, you might find it in like a Dapper Dan style hat, and you could spray paint it black because most of the time you're in that straw color. Um, you cannot find the shape. So I'm gonna show you how to make this shape, Mary Poppins hat shape, out of a top hat. You're gonna need some really sharp scissors with a point on them. And of course, the berries, the flowers, everything for going around the hat. So first, I don't need to because I'm crafty. I can kind of eyeball this, but if you don't feel confident in your crafting skills, you can kind of measure about an inch and a half. On this hat, there's a ridge. So you're gonna measure about an inch and a half up from that ridge, and you can make little dots all the way around so when you're cutting, you can connect the dots. So, like I said, about an inch and a half up. Um, poke it. And then you're gonna cut it all the way around. Like this. There we go, right? So you've got this little thing and the hat. You can go in and take your scissors and just kind of cut up some of the rough edges. I say rough edges a lot in my last video and this one, but you know, who wants rough edges? Okay, so now here's what you have. You're gonna cut a little slit down the back of the hat because now that you've cut the top of the hat off, this, you're gonna push this back in here, but you're gonna have dead space. And if you try this craft, you will understand what I mean by space. So I've cut the back of the hat. See, here, I've made a slit. And you're gonna overlap it like this, and you're gonna glue it. So now you're gonna have this seam, but you don't worry about it, because you can cover it up with flowers and leaves or whatever you want later. Okay? So, you're gonna take your glue gun, glue that seam, glue that seam, close it, glue it, boom, done. Here's what you have, okay? Then you're gonna push this little hat piece up through the center, okay? So now you've made it to where you've made your hat a little shorter because like I said, you cannot find that Mary Poppins shaped hat, you won't find it. And a lot of times I look up online, um, when I first wanted to make this hat because I dressed up as Mary Poppins about five years ago for Halloween, and when I was looking for the shape hat, obviously, like I said, it does not exist. And, um, and when I looked online, it was like a how-to. Everybody's using the bowler shape hats or a top hat, and that's just not right. That's not what she wears. I had to be authentic, you know. So, you push that little piece up through the middle, and here's what you get. See, you've, you've taken and you've taken that hat. Here's the seam in the back. Like I said, you can cover that with flowers. But here's what you've got. You've, you've taken and you've shortened that hat down so it's not um, that top hat shape. Mary Poppins did not wear a top hat. Okay, now, you can take your flowers. I just bought these at the dollar store. These are daisies. Um, in my sample hat, I have roses, but white flowers, any white flowers will do. 
I cut one little flower off the thing. Now you can use wire cutters if you want to. I used regular scissors and kind of scored. I mean, these flowers have a thin wire running through them. So you can use wire cutters if because it can dull your scissors. But I have some old crappy kitchen scissors that I used and I just kind of scored it. And then, um, you know, and with that little score, it just kind of snapped off. So you're going to want to stick your little flower, bend it forward. You know, Mary Poppins got that little flower that sticks up. You're going to bend it forward, forward, forward. You're going to bend it forward. <laughs> and then you're going to slide it in there and you're going to glue it. Okay. So moving on, because I already have a sample that I glued. TV magic. So I already glued this. You're gonna find a little spot for your little flower, see? So cute already, mm, love it. And then you're just gonna glue your flowers, your berries, all around the hat. I like to use the leaves too. Um, I tried to get a real good close-up of Mary's hat. I say Mary like we're best friends, but you know, Mary's hat. <laughs> We are best friends. Who does not want to be Mary Poppins' best friend? I'm sorry. But you come over and then Bob's your uncle, clean the house. You know what I mean? Okay, so. So you're just gonna glue, you can do it in a pattern. And like I said, you take those flowers and cover up that seam in the back. And then you have it. You have it. Your cute little hat. You're gonna be hitting the club later. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I'm a dance instructor, so I'm always thinking dance, and if you wanted to use this for a costume, for a routine, it would be absolutely perfect. It's so lightweight. You could add a little uh, sparkle, some glitter, some sequin around it, and, you know, attach a little elastic. It would be such a perfect hat for a routine. Okay, so that's craft number one, and I'll be back in just a jiff. Craft number two. Okay, back on craft number two, I'm gonna show you how to make Mary Poppins uh, little umbrella, but in candy form. Isn't this cute? I'm gonna show you how to make the little bird on the end of her umbrella. And um, there's chocolate in here, so chocolate makes everything just that much better. Um, so, of course, what you're gonna need again, glue gun. And I ordered these uh, little cone-shaped bags. I don't know if you can see them, they're clear. And I ordered these off of Amazon. I'm sure you can find these, but why go hunting when you can order stuff off of Amazon? If you haven't given it a try, you should try it because it's so easy, like actually too easy probably. Um, and then any style candy, I had chocolate in this one, but I'm gonna do jelly beans in, the, in this one. You need some um, You need some pipe cleaners. I have two different colors here, dark green and light green, because you're gonna twist them to make it. You need some googly eyes, and I found these at Michael's, and they're pretty cute, because they're actually an eye with a lid, which is so cool. And um, I'm gonna put a little gift tag on mine. I wrote just a spoonful of sugar on it. Of course, some scissors, and then um, these, little, these little ties, like bread ties that I actually got with the clear shaped cone bags. And some ribbon, or excuse me, this is string. Okay, so let's get started. So you take your little cone bag. I actually had to trim these because the ones that I ordered were way too big. Um, I kind of played around with it, so. Fill your bag. Okay, now your bag is full. Let's see it's already taking shape. I um, used black, white, and red jelly beans. Um, Mary Poppins umbrella is black, but um, I don't even like black jelly beans, but I thought it was kind of cute because it was Mary Poppins um, colors, but um, just stick with the red ones or the white ones if you want to. Stick with any candy you want. Either way, it's gonna be cute. You're gonna take your pipe cleaners here. Got the two colors, bend them in half. Just like this. Bend them in half. Then you're gonna twist them. Boom, now you got them. So now they're twisted. You're gonna take the end of the pipe cleaner and roll it down. Pinch the end just to make it look more beak-like. 
just make it look like a little bit of a sharper point at the end, like his little beak. Then you're just gonna take your um, googly eye. Let me show you this up close. Look, it has a lid, a green lid, how cute. It's all different colors in this bag, but I picked up the green ones. And you're gonna glue it. I was just gonna leave it like this, but you know, I cannot leave crafts alone. And I was gonna pick up regular googly eyes and I thought, no, I have to get these ones with a lid. And they weren't even that much more expensive than the regular googly eyes. There we go. Got one side done. You're gonna do that on the other side. You're gonna take your bag, zip tie. Well, these aren't zip ties, these are bread ties. A zip tie, that would be intense for a little kid's party. <laughs> Put your handle in here, drop it in, put it in here, tie this around it. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It's almost too cute to eat. You guys look, look at that. How cute is this? This would be so perfect for a birthday party that's Mary Poppins themed, or if you're gonna throw like a premiere party when it comes out on DVD, this would be so, Perfect to give away at the door or just to have set up on the table. Ah, so cute. Okay, so um, I wrote just a spoonful of sugar on a little tag and I'm gonna tie that to my bag. But I wanna give you guys a little tip. A lot of times people try to string their string through the, that little loop and, um, and tie it like this. But when you do that, your, your tag is just gonna keep spinning so what you're gonna do is, it's, this is so much better, so much better. You're gonna fold your string in half and then stick the double part, the, you know, the other end. So like here, like this. Then you're gonna open it up right here and you're gonna loop this through. See? Okay, so look at it. See how I've looped it? So now the string's hanging from the top. And then you can easily put a bow around this. Easily, easily, easily. Wow, I can't tie a bow. <laughs> can't tie a bow. Oh my word, how cute. Look it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I inspired you to make your own Mary Poppins DIYs. Leave in the comments below your favorite Mary Poppins song. Mine is A Spoonful of Sugar. That's what inspired this cute little candy umbrella. And we'll see you again, hopefully in another week for a new video. Bye.